drive most anywhere in the city and you're gonna hear some noise. It just comes with the territory. But for some people, this driving by is enough to drive them crazy. Oh, I get chest pain. I know people who become nauseated or who break out in the sweat or they shake. I had one lady tell me she thought she was having a stroke. Judy Ellis, a St. Petersburg resident, has been working to tone down car stereos for years. And now she and the city have come up with a new way for complaints to be heard. It's just a way of saying we have a law, this is discourteous, you're disturbing your neighbors. Here's how the program works. Hear a noisy car in St. Pete, get the tag number, and then fill out a mail-in complaint form. Then the police will send out a letter. No fines, the letter just asks the car's owner to show some respect and turn the volume down. But can a simple letter actually make a difference? We caught up with 19-year-old Mario Mayers and his pulsing subwoofers. Mayers says he likes to play his music loud to truly experience it. I really just like to get the full musical enjoyment out of it because it feels like you're really there, like in a concert hall. And even though he's racked up noise fines in the past, Mayer says a letter could make him reduce his boom volume. Yeah, it probably would because I would be more conscious around about the other people around me. Similar programs have been tried in other cities. It's just one more way people are trying to lower the boom on boomers. In St. Petersburg, Catherine Bursch, Tampa Bay's 10 News.